This is part three in a series of tutorials for Psych 2301 General Psychology. This tutorial covers using Psychiatry Online to access the DSM-4 library and at the end I will also point out how you can get the DSM in hard copy. The DSM-4 library is available in Psychiatry Online and it includes the DSM textual revision Handbook of Differential Diagnosis and the Cases. From the library's homepage, you would start from the Psychology Databases by Subject and then click on DSM 4 TR from the Psychiatry Online homepage. Browse the contents of the book, or you can search with the single text box that they provide at the top of the screen. When you browse the contents, you'll be browsing by the disorder classification and then finding the specific disorder within that category. If you want to look for cases from DSM, click on DSM cases at the top of the Psychiatry Online homepage under the DSM library section and then click view cases by DSM for diagnosis and then you will be able to browse to the disorder name and then it will bring you to the specific case studies that are associated with that disorder. So now let's take a look at Psychiatry Online. Again, start from the library homepage, click on Articles, Research, and More, and then in the middle of the page choose a database by subject area using the psychology subject, and then click on Psychiatry Online. Again, if you are off campus, then you will be asked to log in. Here is the section here with the DSM. You could type in the disorder name at the top, but let's start by browsing. Click on DSM-4 TR if you're going to the textual revision. And then you can find the alphabetical listing or numerical listing. And then the contents below have the disorder classes. So if I were looking for generalized anxiety disorder, I would look under anxiety disorders. And then on the left, the specific disorders in the chapter will be listed. And then I can go to the, the one I'm interested in. You can print, email, or save. When you email, it'll just send you a link back to this resource. If you click on download, you can download it to a PDA. Or you can do the printable view and you can save or print from that screen. Now, if I wanted to look for cases, then I would go back to the Psychiatry Online homepage and click on DSM Cases. Then use the View Cases by DSM Diagnosis link, which will give you an al alphabetical list, and then you can choose the letter of the alphabet for your disorder topic. And then it will list the title of the specific case associated with generalized anxiety disorder. Again, you can print, download, or email this article as well. Now if you want to search all the contents of Psychiatry Online, you can put in the disorder name at the top. Be sure to enclose it in quotation marks so that it will know you are looking for that specific phrase. And then it will search all of the DSM titles as well as journals and books. There's a few textbooks or reference books included in here. Find the matching entry. And then on the left hand side it tells me that I have journal results, book results in the DSM, and results in some of these reference books. So I could go straight to the 
DSM textual revision or straight to the cases from my search results. We do have hard copies of the DSM books in the library, both at the reference section that you can go and retrieve yourself and then use in the library, or you can come up to the reserves desk and ask for copies that we have behind the library desk that can be checked out and used in the library for two hours. Both copies, you would have to just make copies from it using money on your Mac card. The call numbers are here. For the DSM-IV-TR, here's the call number for both the reference and reserves location. And then for the casebook, here is the call number for that in the reference or reserve shelves. You don't have to memorize this call number, it just helps you identify where it's located on the shelves. And you can look it up in the online catalog by typing in DSM-4, or you can locate these call numbers on the library subject guide that has been created for this course. This is the end of the third tutorial on using online resources and hard copy sources to find the DSM. Please go to the next section, part four, in which examples are given on looking for books, hard copy books in the library on your specific disorder topics.